So we were making bread and everybody else is at the store and look what I see out the window. It's Hammy! Hi Hammy! <laughs> Crazy, can you see her ear? There she is, out of the pen. How are we gonna get her back in without daddy? I guess we better figure that out. Ready to go, Annie? Mm. You got your shoe on? Okay. Mm. We're gonna see if we can't get Hammy back into her pen. I have no idea how she got out. This will be fun. <laughs> so we found some pig tracks. Turns out she went down the road. See? So Everett's out there. He's trying to get her to come. He's got her a bucket of food trying to tempt her. We'll see. Looks like our neighbors are helping out. Let's hopefully she doesn't get hit by the school bus. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay Everett, hold on. Let's all end up on this side of the road. Okay, Everett, wait. No. Okay. No, yeah, why don't you turn around and go home? You want to go home, sweetie? Go home. No the home is that way. Snow. Home is that way. We've got our awesome neighbors helping out. <clears throat> we'll see. She's at least headed in the right direction. That's a good sign. Huh, babe? Huh, oh, we're no help. We're no help. We've got a babe. It's like walking on solid ice out here. I mean, seriously. Like, I mean, I'm. If I wanted, I could be sliding on skates. <laughs> Oh, I see that. Yeah, they got a big, nice, big piece of plywood in there. I think that'll work just fine. And uh, the boys went and got her some water. I think that'll help. You know, uh, she probably ate a little bit of snow, but you never know. She probably just wanted a nice, big drink. Hi, sweetie. You look tired. Hi, sweetie. Hi. 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 Poor girl. She's exhausted. She's totally breathing hard <laughs> from running around. So that was a fun day. So I just have to say how grateful I am for awesome neighbors. That could have been a bigger ordeal than it was. It was actually quite quick. Um, I was kind of wondering what if the pig was going to be out forever <laughs> until Trent got home or something. <laughs> So now we're in the car, we're late for a dinner uh, with our friends. <laughs> I was just thinking, I almost went to the store with Trent, uh, because usually we do, we just do stuff as a family. Can you imagine our neighbors trying to figure out where the pig goes without us? So I'm grateful that I had the sense somehow to stay home that today. <laughs> Glad the pig is safe.
All right, we're at our friend's house. Um, this is the home and gallery of Chris Yancey, and we'll put the link in the description below. <laughs> Come on in as quick as you can. Hey guys. What took you, what took you guys so long? Our pig right. got out. Um, Chris is both an artist, a sculptor, and and quite a homesteader in his in his own right. Um, he's done quite a bit. So I'll introduce you to him. Hey Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself and your art and what you're doing here at your house. Well, um, we bought an old store on the main street here and uh, yeah, but um, I'm a sculptor. I primarily do relief sculpture and um, we've just turned the front here into a little gallery and my wife teaches piano lessons out of it. There's our old wood stove and that's how we heated this thing last year. This building used to be the uh, old mercantile and actually just on this other side of this wall here it used to be the post office they made a little lean-to thing you might see how we tore it apart yep um, his channel is art and hardware <laughs> yeah Trent's got uh, art and homesteading and I've got art and hardware and there's the difference we don't have any cows so <laughs> I, they're all made out of metal here yeah <laughs> <laughs> beautiful bronzes and other sculptures here all by Chris this is our masonry furnace. Uh, I like to use this torch. And it's already smoking because there's some coal in there. Close this up. We use a very high-tech latch here. <laughs> Looks like ours. Brick. So, could you tell everyone what the fire is doing? Like, where is the smoke going? Just a real quick version. You can see maybe at the back there. I don't know if you can see that far back. There you go. Just a little there's a, there's slot. There's a hole huh? down at the back. It's about uh, two inches wide and it goes the width of it. And it goes up into an upper chamber up here that's behind this. Now this is eventually going to be a pizza oven. But then it goes up again. So it comes forward and then it goes up into the top of this and it becomes a bell. And then it exits at the base of the chimney and then goes straight up and out the roof. Very cool. So it does that. So. And Chris has another um, another rocket mass heater, right? Or another mass heater that he built in the basement. Yeah, let's go see it. Right. Yeah, it's just a little Fisher wood stove. I cut the bottom out of it so I could feed air in underneath. So we got Woo. coal burning in here, it's very hot. And I cut a hole in the top instead of having it go through the back like it normally does with the stovepipe. I've got a heat riser up through the center of this barrel as if it was a, uh, a rocket stove. I've got two chimney flues and then I've got some big huge um, concrete bricks that are hollow in the middle. So we've got bell one, bell two, and bell three. And I've never had this bell get more than warm to the touch. Okay. There's side. a very significant amount of heat coming off of this Lots thing. Lots of though. heat right here. Well I am thoroughly impressed. Cool, buddy. So that's that. Like a tractor. The way I work it is I have it. I usually am just holding this in. When I touch a point, I, I'm going to the elbow here. And then I'm going to the Master sculptor and inventor.